Namaskar, dear friends. I am the mind coach, Partha. I am told to say about why the mental health is required. It's a very interesting topic. And behind that, I can say why the mind is required can be better spelled to say correctly about the why the mental health is required. In today's world, mental health mostly requires the therapy, neuroscience, clinical administration and administering of the doses, mainly covering the brain health, though we are talking about the mental health. Somewhere, some kind of yogi kriya and uh, meditations and the blah, blah are bringing to build up the status quo of the mental health besides the clinical therapy and the type of brain health related exercises. To do the exact justifiable action on the topic that why the mental health is required, one must know about what is mental. Mental, we have the experience, three, th three types of experience. We have the wake up experience, we have the dream experience, we have the sleep experience. And mostly the mental health relates with the wake up experience. How I am, who I am, I am tall, I am short, I am happy, I am miserable. The consciousness, the conscious mind saying that I am miserable or I am so joyous, I am happy. In both cases, there is a hard problem. We can say it hard problem of consciousness that the same person who is saying that I am miserable and the I is not the same. So that mental health is nothing but the projection of world by the mind. So what is the mental health? The power of ability correctly to project. It is like the projector, that is the brain, who is projecting on the screen, the movie. And the screen is the mind. So does it the same? Screen is not equal to the projector. And the movie, that is the projecting, is not equal to the... Exactly the dreamer and the dream, the experiencer and experience are not the same. Here lies the gap. We can say it's an explanatory gap. So mind and brain is not the same. And mental health doesn't only covers the brain health. It is beyond that. Keeping parity and the ditto with the, all the upcoming exercises of all the making the proper action of the electricity of the synapse of the neuron, flushing to the images or experience of the world, the perception of the me and mind on the mind. So that is, can call mental health, but it is, if it's beyond brain health, mental health covers consciousness building, awareness building, the yogic kriya and the attention building, we can say. So mental health is definitely required to cover the brain health, proper ability to project and beyond my me and mind, the consciousness to understand that the experiencer and experience is not the same. Who is saying I am tall and the I am short is not equal to the I am. So that consciousness and the mind, there is a difference between the mind and consciousness. So mind is required, mental health, proper mental health is required to understand the awareness. Thank you. So always mental health required beyond brain health to understand, to raise the mind level to the consciousness. Thank you. That's all.